my name is Jay Whitaker. So I've always been really interested and passionate about energy technologies. Um, even since high school and certainly in college where I worked on, on photovoltaics, uh, which are solar panels, right? I did a variety of, I answered a variety of fundamental materials and physics questions back in those days. And then I went to graduate school and got my degree in a more sort of broad materials characterization set of fields. Um, and then I really got into what I'm into now, which is electrochemical energy storage devices. The, the common theme through this career path that I've taken has been focused on devices and technologies that take energy in one form and change it to another form and make it useful for a variety of different ways. So when I came to CMU, I really wanted to do something different application-wise, but similar technology-wise with my, with my skills, with my background. And so I changed over from very expensive, specific kinds of technologies for spacecraft to what does, what do we need on this planet? What, what's going to make a real difference? And so one of the projects I do is large-scale energy storage for the grid and for off-grid solar and for developing countries. And so I do a lot of work in that arena. Um, I also do a fair amount of work on um, things like, do electric vehicles make sense? How do, how do electric vehicles, uh, are they too expensive or not? Will the batteries last? This is really about the technology inside these vehicles, and it's also about consumers' interest in buying them. So I collaborate with a variety of CMU folks uh, to understand the meaning of electrified transportation. Is it legitimate, and why? And I think at CMU, we pride ourselves in uh, being skeptical and doing really strong analytical work to support our, uh, our, our ideas and our conclusions. And one of the things that, that's been uh, maybe most prominent of, of what I've done here has been the spin-off company, Aquion Energy, which is a battery company that is based on an idea that started here at CMU. And it, it's a water, it's like a salt water based battery, basically. It has sodium ions that, that function with uh, very simple electrodes, carbon and manganese oxide. It's a very simple package. It looks sort of like a box, a bread box or whatever. There are two or three main markets that we're looking at right now for this technology. Um, the first one is uh, off-grid or microgrid. These are in developing countries or places where there's not a really well-developed electrical grid or the, the grid is in some way or another not that reliable. Uh, the other application is much larger and it's going to take a bit longer for us to be big enough to make things that are big enough to impact it and that's the North American power grid and there are a lot of places where there are pinch points where for whatever reason moving electrons around the grid are very expensive uh, or not possible at the right times of day. And one way to relieve that is to put a big thing that stores energy. It's a big block, black box, electrons in and electrons out. And a battery is certainly one way to do it, but we have to get to the right cost point and the right price point. And we are on a very good course to, to be there in a handful of years. 